In Isaiah chapter 41 verse 17, the word of God says, I won't abandon them. The Lord God wants you to know that you will not be abandoned. He wants you to know that it doesn't matter the state you find yourself. It doesn't matter the situation. Dear child of God, God will not abandon you. He says as for the poor, the needy, those seeking water, when there is none and their tongues are parched from test, he says, I the Lord will answer them. I, the God of Israel, won't abandon them. Dear child of God, the Lord is saying to you, when you call unto him, he would answer you, he would attend to you, he would show up for you. The Lord wants you to know that you are not abandoned. He wants you to know that you are not forsaken. He's going to be there to assist you all the way. What is that area you are in need of help? Dear child of God, the Lord is saying, I would help you. I would show up and I will turn everything around for good. The Lord will bring that transformation that you have been believing for. Dear child of God, you are not fighting the battles all by yourself. And I want you to realize this, that you have the supernatural hand of God holding you and helping you. He said, I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, won't abandon them. Have they told you that God is not giving ears to prayers? Have some people told you that God is not fair? Have they told you God is not reliable? Dear child of God, don't believe them. For he said, I will answer you. For he said, I will not abandon you. He went further to say, I will open up rivers on the barren heights and fountains in the midst of the valley. He said, I will turn the desert into a pool of water and the parched land into springs of water. Dear child of God, have you been experiencing some dryness, some drought? Have the things not been working properly the way you expected them to work? I want to assure you that God will show up. He will demonstrate his power. He will show himself strong and mighty in your life. And he will transform everything in your life for the best. He said he would make a way where there seemed to be no way. So trust him all the way. You are not going to suffer. Dear child of God, he's going to make sure you have a reason to rejoice. You see, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Dear child of God, I don't know what you are going through right now. I don't know what you are passing through, but whatever it is that is discomforting to you, the Lord God of heaven, the Lord of hosts, would deal with each and every one of those things. And you will find him transform your life. You would find him restore your joy. So believe him all the way. He said he would answer you. He said you are not abandoned. So believe God and believe him with all of your heart because he would most definitely come through for you. He would make sure there is abundance where you are, dear child of God. He said he's going to pour out abundant rain on your inheritance. He said he will sustain you when you are weary. He said he will sustain you when you are weak. Believe God. Believe him to do mighty things in your life. And I want to assure you without fail, he will do them. He said he will satisfy the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Dear child of God, what are those things you have been asking God for? What are those things you have been telling God every day? Please, these are the things I want come and do in my life. These things will be good for my family. I want to receive them. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, he that said he satisfies, he that said he fills up, would make sure these good things will not be far away from you. He said they will not lack any good thing. He told his people, you will not lack any good thing. So I want to assure you with this word today that God will still do it because you are not abandoned. It doesn't matter what they are saying. The mockers may be laughing. They may be mocking at this time. They may have been ridiculing you because of your situation. But when God will show up, dear child of God, He will turn everything around. He will turn your captivity around. He will give you reasons to rejoice. He said He will pour water on you. He said He's going to satisfy you. He said you are going to see the abundance of rain. You are going to see your blessings showing forth. He said, I, Yahweh, will answer you. He said he would make sure you are not forsaken. So what is it you have been demanding God to do in your life? What is it you have been seeking the face of God for? 
I want to assure you, God will show up. He will show up in a supernatural way and it will cause you to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. He would make sure that things will be working fine for you. So go to him with all the confidence in your spirit and say to him, Father, you have promised that you are going to answer me. You have told me you will not abandon me. I come with my request, yes. Maybe it's some health situation. Maybe it's some situation with your finances. Maybe it's in your spiritual life. Maybe it's some delays you have been experiencing. Maybe it's some stagnation, dear child of God. He said, I would answer you. I will not abandon you. You are never abandoned. And this is what I want you to know. It may look as though you have not heard the voice of God, but the voice of God will definitely come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. For about 25 years, Abraham had nothing from God. But when the time came, he heard God showed up and turned everything around. Yes, he made mistakes. He made some errors. He did not do exactly what God told him to do. But God showed up eventually. He heard the voice of God. God made him to know that he was never abandoned. Dear child of God, you may have done some things that made you feel that this is the reason God had distanced himself from you. Maybe you may have sinned. You have done some mistakes and you feel God is punishing you for them. I want you to know that when your time for blessings come, when the appointed time for your liberation comes, God would most definitely show up without fail. So believe him. Trust him with all of your heart. Go to him every day with all the confidence in your spirit. And I want to assure you, he would make a way. He says, produce your cause, says Yahweh. Bring out your strong reasons, says your God. Says the king of Jacob. Bring your reasons to him. Tell him the reasons why you want to be blessed. Tell him the reasons why you want to see the transformation. Tell him the reasons why you want to see the open door. And I want to assure you without fail, God would open your doors. It will cause your blessings to break forth. Everything that may have not been working in your life, they will be working from this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, He said He will not abandon you. He said He will not forsake you. He said He would answer you. Believe Him. Believe Him with all of your heart. Because when that time comes, dear child of God, He that said He would open up the rivers, He would open up the rivers of your blessings. There will be floodgates of blessings, dear child of God. There will be overflows. It will be pouring forth in greater proportion. It will be pouring forth in measures you will not be able to comprehend, to imagine it. It says beyond your imagination, it will do unto you. So what are those expectations of yours? Dear child of God, still hold on to them because they will come to pass. He's not a God that disappoints. It's not a God that fails. So he said he would make sure you are not put to shame because you have faith, because you hope in him, because you have confidence in him. You have gone, you have told people that God will show up for me. I know God will not let me be defeated. I know God will not let me to be abandoned. I know God will not leave me all by myself. You have told them, yes, those people that were mocking you, you told them, I know that my Redeemer liveth. Job was mocked, he was laughed at. But it will continually repeat to them. I know my God is alive. I know my change will come. And most definitely, the child of God, that change came. It came in a super and amazing way. I want to assure you, your blessings will come. God will pour forth your blessings. God will pour forth your rains. There shall be abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. So do not buy to the lies of the devil. Do not buy to the lies of the enemies. Who is saying to you, God has forsaken you? Who is saying to you, there is no God to help you? Who is saying to you, forsake God and walk away? You see, the wife of Job told him, why don't you cause God and die? Because she was saying, go and leave God. God had abandoned you. God had forsaken you. But Job would maintain his faith. He would stay on God. He would remain on the ground. He would bring forth his reasons. And God showed up. God turned everything around. God opened up everything in his life. This is how God will do for you. The one who said he will make wilderness, yes, a wilderness he will make a pool of water. He said the dry land will spring water. Yes, there will be springs of water coming from the dry land. Why don't you believe that God? That God that does the impossible. That God that makes impossible possible. Why don't you believe that God? 
that God has said nothing is too hard for him to do. Why don't you believe that God? He will show up. He would make a way. He will turn everything around and it will cause your joy to be full in the mighty name of Jesus. So seek his face every day. Trust him with your life. Trust him with your all. And I want to assure you, all that you are searching for, all that you are believing in him for, all that you have been praying for, would all find you in the mighty name of Jesus. You'll find yourself rejoicing. You'll find yourself testifying. You'll find yourself experiencing the wonders and the goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not forsaken, dear child of God. And remember the words he said to you, I will not abandon you. I would answer you. I would show up for you. Yes, it may have tarried, dear child of God, but the Lord is saying to you, wait. Yes, it's only for a season. I'm going to show up. I'm going to turn everything around. And I will give you reasons to rejoice because it is my will to do you well. God has your mind, dear child of God. He has planned it out and you would rejoice without fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust him with your life. Trust him with your all. And you will see a supernatural hand show up for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call it done because it is settled and you are going to get your testimony. You shall be celebrated. You shall hear congratulations in the mighty name of Jesus. Believe him. You are not abandoned. You are not forsaken. And when the time is right, he that said would do it. He will do it. He will show up and it will cause you to rejoice. There is a meaning to your life, dear child of God. You are not ordinary, dear child of God. And you will see the blessings of God manifesting around you so greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. Please don't lose faith. Don't give up. Hold on to God till the very end. Your Redeemer is alive and He will redeem you. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. We faint not. Beloved, whatever the situation is, do everything to hold on to God. And make sure that you are not fainting. Make sure you are not allowing yourself to become weary. Make sure you are not allowing yourself to become tired and give up in the struggle. Dear child of God, by the mercies of God and by the grace of the Lord, receive that special ability not to faint. He says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. There is a special grace from the Lord that would help you to keep persevering. There is a special grace from the Lord that will come upon your life that would make you to determine within yourself that I will not faint, that I will not tire. Whatever the thing that is coming around me, whatever the situations are, whatever the trials and difficulties are, I refuse to faint, beloved. The thing that we must be conscious of every day is to determine within ourselves not to faint. There are many things that wants you to back out. There are many things that wants you to give up in the struggle. Dear child of God, there are some things that cause many people to back out. And the sad truth is that many back out, many give up, many faint just at the point of their breakthrough when they are at the verge of receiving all that they have worked for, when they are at the verge of receiving all that they have labored for, then they faint. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 3 says, Think carefully about Jesus. Bad people did such very bad things against him, but he continued to be brave and strong. Dear child of God, no matter what the people are doing against you, determine within yourself to be brave and strong. Do not allow the enemy see you tired. Do not allow the enemy see you becoming weak because that is how they will start rejoicing. Do not allow the enemy see that the things that they are doing against you is getting at you. Do everything by the power and by the message of God to tell yourself, I will not bow. To tell yourself, I will not chicken out. To tell yourself, I will not budge. No matter the situation, receive that special grace that Jesus operated in 
bad people did such very bad things against him but he continued to be brave and strong tell yourself i will not give up in the struggle i will not give up in the fight many have given up and have lost their crown many have given up and their name has been erased from the place of glory when you are at that point that everything is buffeting you tell yourself i will not give up the scripture went further to say think about him and then you will not become tired and weak as christians dear child of god when you think about god and consider within yourself that despite all the things that he was faced with despite all the opposition he made it through tell yourself i will make it through tell yourself i will succeed no matter the situation tell yourself i will make it at last no matter what the enemy is doing against me we understood in nehemiah chapter 6 verse 15 the word of the lord says so the war was completed on the 25th day of elul we understood that nehemiah was faced with a lot of opposition he had so many things fighting against him he had so many things that was opposing the things he needed to do but he made up his mind that he would not give up and then he persevered until he got to the place of completion dear child of god fix your eyes on the lord god fix your eyes on jesus fix your eyes on the one who is the author and the finisher of our faith he is the one that ensures that you have started it he is the one that gave you the grace to begin that good work he will bring it to completion he will bring it to perfection in your life Dear child of God, be conscious of the fact that God wants you to finish well. Be conscious of the fact that God doesn't want you to tire out on the journey because he knows there is a crown at the end of the day. Because he knows there is something that comes to those who overcome. And so he said in Revelation chapter 3 verse 21 that to those who overcome, they will get to sit on the throne. They will receive the crown. Dear child of God, you need to make up your mind that I will be an overcomer. You need to make up your mind that I will be a victor. And the Lord has given you all that it takes to be more than a conqueror. So the word of the Lord says that you are more than a conqueror through him that loves you. So encourage yourself every day, telling yourself, because the Lord loves me, I will keep persevering. Because he loves me, he had made provisions for me to get to the end of my journey. He has made a provision for me to win and I will do everything to win. I receive the grace to endure, to endure all the hostility, to endure all the things that is done against me. I receive the grace to run my race and run to the finish line. I receive the grace to press on to the mark of the eye calling many things wanted to stop paul from achieving what he needed to achieve but he will say to himself he will press on to the mark of the eye calling and until that point he came to say i have finished my course i have run my race successfully he did not stop he did not give up even many times he was persecuted many times he was left for dead but he did not give up he made sure he would go to do everything that the Lord has assigned him to do. Dear child of God, this is what you should conceive within yourself, that I will do all to keep pressing on. I refuse to faint. I refuse to tire out. Though the enemies are trying to stop me from every way possible, they are using every means and tactics, but I will not allow them to get to me. I will not tire out. Though they have laughed at me, though the people have mocked against me, but I refuse to tire out. I refuse to faint. I refuse to allow myself to become weakened on the journey. I receive the anointing that Nehemiah received, the anointing of completion, that I will finish my race well, that I will receive my crown. I receive that grace that Jesus operated in, that he came to that point where he would say, it is finished. He got to his finish line. So he refused to faint, despite the fact that bad people did 
such very bad things against him but he continued to be brave and strong until he had finished his assignment until he had finished the mission he was to accomplish what is it that god have called you to do that you became faint in doing what is it that God have assigned you to do, but for some reasons you are deviated because of the challenges, because of the troubles, because of the things that has buffeted you? What is that thing that God have called you and had mandated you to do on the face of the earth, but for some reasons you know that you are faint, you know that you have turned away from it, you know that you have given up. Dear child of God, it's high time that you get yourself together and tell yourself, I'll be brave, I'll be strong like Jesus, and I will do everything to achieve what the Lord wants me to achieve. I will refuse to faint, I will refuse to tire out in the name of Jesus. Give me the grace, O Lord, to be able to accomplish all that you want me to accomplish. Give me the grace, Lord Jesus, to persevere to the very end. Give me the grace not to give up. And you will see the Lord give you grace. And I will give you a special anointing that will keep you on course until you finish. Dear child of God, do not faint. Do not give up. Do not tire out. Receive that message today to achieve what God wants you to achieve. Nothing will stop you from testifying in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will stop you from dancing. Nothing will stop you from shouting your shout of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. It is done, it is settled, and heaven will give you reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I call it done because it is settled. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you, and shalom.